Hey folks, welcome back to the Horde. Let's see, what are we looking at? About 10 to 4. It is still June 23rd, Monday, 26.3 degrees Celsius. No, my batteries aren't completely charged. This one says 84 and the right time and so forth. This is 82. Still working on the Lifran engine change, right? I'm kind of doing it as um, individual standalone videos. Um, that way you guys just don't see one video of, look, I swapped the engine on my bike. I'm trying to highlight, um, you know, the problems you can run into or how easy it is when you're doing such an engine swap. So I've dug the engine out of the box right and the first thing you look at are the mounting bolts and the size in between them the distance in between the mounting bolts and I gotta tell you it looks like every, everything's going to be alright right there's the lower mounting bolt and it looks like it's good the upper mounting bolt Looks like it's the right length. So from a mounting bolt point of view, we're all happy. That's where the Kickstarter mounts. The clutch is a little different. The clutch goes through here and pulls up on this cable, right? Not quite sure what this is doing for a living. But anyway, the clutch goes through here. This might be for the spark plug wire. Um, so the clutch does mount differently. Remember for this guy, the clutch is back here compared to on the side of the cover and um, I was pulling from those two bolts right this guy and that guy um, right like that so hopefully the clutch doesn't become a pest um, it did come with a sprocket okay though that sprocket looks smaller than that sprocket and the chain see the width here well actually the width looks like it's probably going to be okay from a ignition point of view this engine just wants to fall on its face um, shoot They have a little pigtail here. It looks like I am going to have to put the pigtail on the engine and do some wiring. They include these instructions. Um, I don't know. Can you guys see that? So I'm not... I can't... I see a bunch of part numbers. Right? But I don't necessarily read Chinese, right? I don't I can't read any of that. But they do include a couple of schematics. And basically uh, what you're looking on is the top one is if you have a DC ignition, if your ignition runs off a of 12 volt, and this one is the AC ignition, and it's right here. I'm not sure what kind of futzing around I'm going to have to do with the battery to figure things out. It kind of looks like there's enough wires there where this motor is kind of a universal, and the other guy has, actually the other guy has quite a few wires coming out of it too. So I could do this one in two ways. I can borrow the plug from this. I kind of don't like to do that. Um, I don't know. It's, it might take me a little while to figure the wiring out, given that um, that there's a difference between this and that. Um, Looking at black, green, white, yellow, blue. There's a couple of greens. 
Yeah, it looks like they have exactly the same color wires here. So one, oh, it says 12 volt on it. So uh, this could be interesting. This might, this engine, I'm not sure if it could go either way. Because they did include both schematics here. And when they labeled these up, I can't read what color the wire is. Right, so I'm not exactly sure on this. So already, this thing that says 12 volt, I mean, the nice thing about saying 12 volt, that means I can put lights on it. I don't know if it's going to require a 12 volt. Um, I don't know if this is a 12 volt. Looks a little small to be a 12 volter. Um, it does look like it's basically the same size as the one that's already sitting here. So. The wiring already, the wiring is not a slam dunk. The wiring is not a plug and play. It's already, one needs to figure some things out and they don't have it written in English so it's not color coded. So I'm probably gonna find myself on the internet um, trying to understand the Lifren wiring diagram. So for um, those of you who are buying this and you have absolutely no knowledge this project is moving up to I'm not saying it's a difficult project yet but it's moving away from the slam dunk of 15 or 20 bolts and uh, two wiring harnesses it's moving toward some some uh, troubleshooting anyhow the other parts that came with this obviously the engine the um, the instructions in Chinese, so I can't read them. Um, I, I haven't taken this foam out. Maybe there's English instructions down here, so I'm not thinking so. Um, it also came with this for um, no lower than a th three star rating before you contact us. So they want to be called if there's any issues. So, um, and I will, like, yo, why don't you give me some American directions? Um, so I haven't hit any stop roadblocks, but I have hit a complication that I, I might have to, um, spend some quality time figuring out what that wiring is. Came obviously with a shifter, kickstarter intake manifold though I'm going to use the intake manifold from the other one came with a carburetor though I'm going to use that carburetor came with um, the phenolic is broken for the carburetor I don't think I did this I think it showed up broken um, and that's broken right a piece of gasket is is broken though I'm not using the carburetor so it shouldn't be that big a deal um, did come with the spark plug you can see the spark plug sticking right out of the engine there so as of right now the only complication I see is that I can't just slam the wiring right I can't just swap them and there's it it's not plug and play also that cable says 12 volts which is a little concerning because um, perhaps that engine's also wired for 12 volts but they're not using it but anyway the wiring is a little bit of a concern but um, the other thing is the engine the engine came as slippery as heck it's like they oiled it before they shipped it I don't know if they do that to ward off corrosion or if they had oil in it and the box got turned upside down or what the story is but um, you guys could see the box is also oily right so 
Um, that's also kind of interesting. Anyhow, I've been babbling for 10 minutes, so um, the swap continues. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hang that engine on the frame with the two bolts and then uh, see, see how everything goes from there. Hopefully no big surprises, no big problems, and uh, we keep moving forward. Folks, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, thanks for subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, your head up, and remember to live your life every day like it may be your last. Bye now.